I grew up in East Point and uh, went to high school at a private college down there, Atlanta Adventist Academy. Went off to college in Tennessee, came back, got a master's at Georgia State, and then out to California for medical school. I was a little out of my element at first, but I loved it. You know, I think everybody should spend a little time on the West Coast just for fun and then, uh, and then come back, you know, to the South where you appreciate it more. <laughs> When I was working my way through college, I worked here for Dr. Gallops as a medical assistant. And so I got my first exposure to ENT back then. You know, I was down there doing everything from you know, scrubbing instruments and installing shelves. So uh, it, it kind of started with that. Well, that's the best thing about what we do is that if you, for those moments, for those people that come in and have been suffering for a long time and then you can, you know, take care of this and, and give them relief that they've been looking for for years, you know, that's the most rewarding thing about what we do. I actually keep like a little file at home. I know, it's, it's kind of crazy, but I keep a little file of all the little things, like if, you know, if a child that I do writes me a picture or a note or something, I'll put it in the file and that's what I call. So when I'm having a bad day, I can look at the file and I'm like, okay, here's all the positive reasons for being a doctor, so. Oh, perfect day. I guess if I could spend it uh, outdoors, no matter how that is. It could be hiking, mountain biking, fishing, you know, you name it. If I get outside, then I'm pretty happy. I'm much better in the clinic if I have that balance outside, the, uh, outside of it too. You know, by being able to balance my life, I'm able to, uh, you know, provide better care without question.